Hi, I'm Karen Murphy and I'm a tour guide at the Reeves Museum in Dover, Ohio. We are bringing you virtual tours. Um, actually, as part of our stay at home, stay safe quarantine, we are going to do room by room. I picked the formal dining room. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. I am a brand new tour guide. I have only been doing tours since November of last year. I attend many events at the Reeves. I uh, like the murder mystery dinner, um, Clue in the House, and my personal favorite, Haunted History Tours. You need to come for that. Actually ask, uh, prompted me to ask what it took to become a tour guide. I do work a full-time job during the week. This is um, something I like to do in my spare time because I do love history and I love Victorian homes, older homes. Uh, like the Victorian time period. So, I am going to bring you the formal dining room today. I picked the formal dining room because anybody that knows me as a tour guide knows I love parquet floors, and this is the first room in the house you actually begin to see them. I am going to walk you through, tell you how, why some of the possessions are there, where they came from, how they're still intact. Um, maybe what it was like to live at the Reeves at the Victorian time period turn of the century what the formal dining room is all about. When you first enter the formal dining room, the first thing you notice are the beautiful parquet floors. All floors in the home were actually laid by Mrs. Reeves' brother, James Reeves. On the first level of the home, in each room, every floor has a different design. In the formal dining room, the floors are oak, and the inlay design is maple and cherry. The uh, formal dining room would have been used by the Reeves if they would have had a formal guest, if they were entertaining. And Mr. and Mrs. Reeves were known to take many meals there alone when they were older. If you look to the right, there is a butler's pantry. That would have been important in Victorian time period because the hustle and the bustle in the kitchen, they would have shut those doors as a buffer so not to disturb the family who was entertaining or had a formal guest. The next thing I'm going to draw your attention to is the dining room table. The chairs have a design on the back of the chair. It's called a love spoon design. Why that's important is Mrs. Reeves was of Welsh descent. That kind of design is very common with a Welsh heritage. Then other items I would tell you about are on the dining room table, there is the Reeves family china set. It is actually hand painted white with gold. On the last thing around the dining room table on the floor is a hand-woven rug. When the Dover Historical Society got the house from the family in the 1970s, this rug was there. It is Indian hand-woven and it was, did not belong to the Reeves as part of their collection. The other item I want to tell you about is the chandelier above the table. That is a story in itself. When the Dover Historical Society was given the home, the Reeves family actually had one month to come in and remove any possessions that they wanted. The family decided to take two things. The first thing that was taken was from the broom, and it was actually the chandelier that is hanging above the dining room table. The original chandelier was a Tiffany. I would have loved to have seen that. I hear it's hanging in Morgantown. But the chandelier that is left is just as beautiful. It is Czechoslovakian crystal. So now I'm going to draw your attention to the wallpaper. The wallpaper that is on the wall is actually silk mural of a pastoral theme. If you look to the left where the windows are, there's a tapestry on an easel. That tapestry was actually found in pretty poor shape in the carriage house. And uh, that piece that's left is the same pastoral scene, if you notice, as the mural wallpaper. So when daughter Agnes redid the house in the 1940s, we believe she liked that scene, or she liked the tapestry that hung in the formal dining room and mirrored it with the silk mural wallpaper. The easel that is actually holding up the tapestry is a whole other story. Mr. Reeves had several businesses in the area. One of them was a hotel with a restaurant in downtown New Philadelphia. The easel, we know, was in the lobby holding up the daily specials for the restaurant. One of our tour guides was on a date there with her now husband, 
and distinctively remembers the easel being in the lobby. How cool is that? A couple other interesting pieces in the dining room is a silver tea set. It is over 130 years old and has been re-silvered. It did not belong to the Reeves, but is still beautiful in itself. And another piece is the floral punch bowl. This is a wedding gift to Tom Schiffer. This would have been Louise's son and Mr. and Mrs. Reeves' grandson. The last piece I'm going to turn your attention to in the dining room is the china cabinet. It is my very favorite piece in this room besides the parquet floors, of course, because I love parquet floors. Um, that is a story in itself. If you look at the cabinet, you will notice there is a slight difference in the bottom shade compared to the top shade. The story behind that goes, the top of the cabinet was actually lifted off in the renovations in the 1940s by Agnes and put in storage. It was found intact. The bottom part was painted the battleship gray like all the other woodwork in the house and has been restored as close as it can get to that top piece. Also, another interesting piece is there is a mirror at the bottom. It was actually covered um, probably with a piece of, of, I think, small plywood. They found it intact. It is known as a petticoat mirror. What that means is when a young lady would sit, it was very important during the Victorian time period that she didn't show her petticoat. So if she was in the room or getting up from the table, she could quickly check herself in that mirror to make sure her petticoat wasn't showing. The thing about that cabinet is it's amazing that it's still there. It's amazing that it was kept intact. And if you look at that top piece, that is what the woodwork would have looked like had it not been painted, that color. It's very indicative. The good thing about Agnes, even though she restored the house to painting, and you know, I get that question quite a bit, why did she do that? Because that is what they did in the 1940s. That was what was in style. But she saved all the possessions and we still have them. The Reeves home has 95% of the possessions that belong to the family. That is amazing in itself. That the family first of all didn't take them or they weren't given away. That china cabinet really sets off that room. It is a beautiful piece. I certainly hope that you enjoyed your tour of the dining room and you come see us soon.